everything I have today is locally made. Coconut, passion fruit, sarsap, and guava are just some of the local fruits that are manufactured as flavors for a product known as penna fruit. Yes, penna fruit, a locally produced frozen fruit treat. This week, we join Just Natural Delights, a family business that has taken local fruits and created penna fruits along with ice lolly and ice creams. The idea all started with Shondell Gordon's mother, who has the passion for healthy eating. My mom was a pioneer behind the, the name of the business, behind the name of the product, because uh, she's a, a health advocate. So, a day she was looking for ideas that she can you know, give the school kids to sell as a snack. And then she dabbled over with some ideas, and then she came about with the idea of Penna Cool. But instead of calling it penna cool, she called it penna fruits because it's made from local fruits. So that's what really boosted the, the, the idea behind the business. My mom is a mastermind behind the business. Um, if, you, if you take a look at things today, you'll see that 30 years ago, people who were dying from the major diseases were people in their 60s and 70s. But now you'd find people in their 20s, their 30s dying from those diseases. And I believe a lot of that is due to processed foods. You know, so the more we could stick to the local foods, yes, it's more expensive than, than the pinnacle because it's not just water, color, and sugar. It's real fruit, so it will be more expensive. So you could look at it as an investment into your, your health and well-being. Starting out around 2015-2017, Shondell says there were a few challenges that the business faced. Initially, their target market was schools selling the idea of a healthy alternative. However, Due to the ever-changing business environment, Just Natural Delights has adapted to new things. Initially, it took a lot to get them to, to sway them from Pinnacle. As a, as a kid, you're accustomed to Pinnacle. Now you're giving them something with fruits. Now, the majority of kids, if, not, if they're not grown liking fruits, they wouldn't like fruits, period. So it took a while to transition from artificial and then into giving them the natural stuff. A lot of marketing, Facebook was my biggest help to, to do that transition. And then the, the schools also started to take them. And the schools also had, I think there was a legislation put in place where schools couldn't sell artificial stuff. So that was a foot in the door to, to kind of, you know, sway the transition in that direction. Major challenges, hmm. sometimes sourcing the fruits, sometimes. Um, but the main major challenge before, as I said, it's the getting the kids to transition from the artificial pinnacle to the, the, the local stuff. That's been the, the biggest hurdle. And marketing is something that we, we try to do as much as possible. Most, I realize these days everybody's on social media. So Facebook is the way that I, I market. In the near future, I may put something on the radio, may put something on the TV. The majority of the product was geared towards school. So now that school is not as it was before with the introduction of the pandemic and COVID, now I have to try to change the market a bit and go package the stuff predominantly for the supermarkets now. The making of penna fruit is very simple with the right equipment. Here is how the process goes, beginning at gathering the fruit and creating a mixture. The main fruits are typical fruits that we use to make juice. Um, in the future, maybe, who knows, there might be a line for, I guess, healthy people who want stuff like carrots and pumpkin and vegetables mixed into it. But all for now, it's just the local fruits that we have, that we use to make juice. Upon completion of the mixture, we pour it in the container here. Um, this is all touchscreen, digital stuff. So you just calibrate the machine to suit. Um, it can give you the length of the plastic, you can make different sizes in the plastic. You can um, adjust it to different temperatures. So everything you need to do in terms of calibration, you can do here. Um, then you put it on, 
the liquid will flow down this tube and into this area here. The sealers are going to seal the plastics at the back and at the bottom here. And then there's a cutter between the sealers that would cut for the, each individual pin of fruit to flow out. And that's the process, pretty simple. Though it appears simple, Shondell says the process of opening a local business has its many challenges. I guess to start the business, we had to come up with that on our own. I wasn't able to get funding from GDB. I went to GDB to get funding, but I believe at the time I went, they were on hold for whatever reason. So as a family, we had to fund it. We had to buy the machine. We had to build down here and everything was, was, was out of pocket. But financing a small business in Grenada, there are avenues that you can do it with. Well, true, but it's, it's a lot, it's a hassle. It's not readily available to a small business owner or a young person trying to get into the business field. It's, it's not easy. So if you don't have, well, I had my, my, my family and my parents to support me. If, if you don't have that um, and your pockets are not deep as a young person, it'd be difficult to start a business on your own in Grenada. It's not impossible, but difficult. Shondell inspires us to remember that though the process might be difficult, it surely isn't impossible. And with such a mindset, Jess Natural Delights has many plans for the future. Well, the end game for Jess Natural Delights that I have in my mind is to make local products but from fruits. So whether it is dried fruits, jams, jelly, the objective is to get to a kind of mini factory in, in, in a sense, but everything is going to be made from local fruits, not artificial. So I'm trying to utilize the local fruits as much as possible. This has been another episode of Locally Made, a program that features local businesses and services that have merged their creativity and styles with aspects of a Grenadian culture. Everything I have today is locally made.